Good morning. This is Glenna and I'm at 11404 Cabot Trail. Hi Jeff and Corinthia. I'm going to do a quick um, pre-closing inspection walkthrough with you. Um, today's a beautiful day here. Uh, a little cool. It was 7 degrees when I left home but it's start, starting to warm up. I think it's up to like 12 right now so it's not too bad. I think it's going to be a beautiful day. For the fall, you know, we can't expect too hot but it's nice to have some nice bright days. So anyways, I'm going to go through show you the house. Nothing has changed much. They've just re removed some things that were, you know, junk or whatever, mostly in the basement. They've left you some manuals for uh, some of the appliances. Um, this is the um, map for the water line easement, which I've sent you in a PDF. There's your, the real thing. Um, a cookbook from the Ocoin family. So this house was originally a coin family that owned it. So I think they uh, compiled some recipes and left you a copy, left you a little note. Floor bedroom. The shelving in the closet there that I hadn't even really seen before. The door is always shut. I meant open, not shut, but shut behind, <laughs> shut in front of the the closet, I guess I don't say. Wash and dryer. We even left you some couple of rolls of toilet paper from Costco. Mostly empty rooms, so not much to see. This one they were using as an office, so you can see there's like a shelving unit. I'm not quite sure how to put it together, but I think they've left the uh, instructions and stuff. And so. Yeah, there's the instructions. So I may be able to use it if you want.
this. And this one has a bed. I remember I had the exact same bed growing up. Remember those drawers for the bookshelf? <laughs> I would hide my books in there. Okay, I'll go down to the basement now. So there's a few things that remain, like this old dresser, which you know, I think it could be something pretty cool if it was refinished. I guess they thought maybe you could use it. And um, there's like a table here, that those are pretty handy. And they left all the paint cans in case you wanted like to do touch-ups or whatever. Maybe you want to change everything over again, but that'll be up to you, I guess. This old freezer was here when they bought the house and there, I don't know that there's any way to get it out. It'd be, be too narrow, the stairs would be too narrow. There used to be an outside entrance over there which they've kind of blocked off, not them, but the previous owner. So I think that would have been the way to get it out, but maybe if it was disassembled, I still don't think you'd get it up the stairs. And there's nothing in here. This is like just a, to be like a cold room. An old box of some sort, or it's a shelf, I'm not sure. This area is all cleaned out. Hot water tank, furnace. It's like a baker's rack or something that might, might come in handy. filters, I guess, for the furnace. Okay, and then I'll just go do a quick uh, look at the, the shed. So I guess there was quite a bit of stuff in there and they've taken it out. Sorry, I'm having a hard time taking the, the latch off here. I think I need some sort of a flat screwdriver. Oh, there we go. I got it. Yeah. Oh, they've left a little... I don't know if that's a barbecue or not. Everything's gone that was... I think it was mattresses and stuff in here. So it's nice storage space. Okay, that's it. Hope uh, hope everything is good, and we'll see you soon.